Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, the only reading you need today. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. And as you can see, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So we have pile one with the dog. We have pile two with the owl. And we have pile three with the rat. Okay, that's the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your sub readings. Hello, pile number one. And Welcome to your reading and you felt drawn to the dog, <laughs> the dog with the picnic basket. <laughs> yeah, the dog with the picnic basket. Let's put the dog here in the corner. So the only reading that you need today, let's see what the message is for you. We're going to start with one tarot card. It's going to be your significator card. So what is the only message that pile number one needs today? <laughs> is it two cards? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's two cards, so let's just go with it. Two cards for you. Whoop, what's that? Do you guys see that? The third card just jumped in. I mean, it got stuck. I put the tarot deck to the side. The third card got stuck on my hand, and it just said, like, I want to join two. So three cards. Okay, let's just keep those three cards like that, and we're also going to take two cards from my own Oracle deck, and during the month of June, if you use the code Happy June, you can get my deck on my website, nordicl.com, with free shipping. So, free shipping with the coupon code Happy June. So, let's just do two cards of these as well. That's number one. That's number two. Okay, let's start with these cards Four of Cups, Ace of Wands. Wow. Four of Cups is a one. I said wow because Four of Cups is about being dissatisfied, um, missing something, longing for something. And Ace of Wands really, you know, shows a big explosive change. You know, a big yes. Yeah, Ace of Wands, if there's a yes or no question, the Ace of Wands is a big yes. So there's a big no here. Big no and then a big yes. And then, I mean, come on. <laughs> and Nine of Cups, the card that got stuck to my hand, wish is fulfilled. So I get the message for you, stay loyal with the dog, you know, stay loyal to your dream. With the picnic basket, maybe it's even time to take a little bit of a break. Take a little bit of a break, take a picnic, spend time with a loyal friend, get advice from a loyal friend, or just like spend time with nice people, take a break, because the fourth cup, see here, the fourth cup is coming here. So what you're lacking is coming. There seems to be an explosive change, you know, or a catalyst here. Something is really changing here. And Nine of Cups, it's going to end up with your wish fulfilled. So Nine of Cups, you know, is the card of wishes being fulfilled. You getting what you want. Look at you sitting in your fancy chair, drinking. I don't know what you're drinking. Maybe sherry or something. How <laughs> you're drinking something. You're smoking your cigar. So yeah, you're celebrating that something went your way. So messages, be loyal to your dream, but also take breaks and keep kind and nice and loyal people around you as well. Transformation and news. Wow. So maybe because Ace of Wands is a very powerful want, you know, it really comes in with like fire and you know how fire energy is. It's like powerful. So like there's some powerful energy coming in and it's bringing you some transformation, some change in something that you've been lacking and something that you've been wanting. Like good news is coming here and you will be very satisfied with the result. You will be very satisfied with the result. The self. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at you glowing. So there's a shadowy, look at this. There's a shadow here. And then there's a lot of colors here. And then there's a pearl here. So it's like, maybe you're in the shadow now and you can't really see how this is going to come together. Also, why you are 
feeling a little bit, you know, you know, you look a bit sad and gloomy here and you're looking at the cups, you're looking at the things here and it's like, yeah, you know, I created this, but I'm lacking one cup and it's, it's coming to you. You can't see it. It's behind your back, you know? So yeah, the, it's in the shadows, maybe almost, maybe universe is conspiring at this moment to bring this to you and it's coming here. So it's like, it's, it seems to be just your back, you know, it seems to be very close to you. Uh, this good news that will bring color to your gloomy day here. Yeah, you look a little bit depressed and sad. They will bring color to your life back. They will bring fire and passion back to your life. Okay, here, like, hang in there. Yeah, just hang in there. Deer. Hmm. The deer has a very heart-based sensitive energy. Yeah, very subtle and sensitive energy. <laughs> I said energy and then we got an energy card. So yeah, we have a Virgo here and we have the water element and we have an orange with energy. Hmm. Keep your keep your motivation high. Keep your keep like keep going, but also take breaks. <laughs> keep going, but also take breaks. And, and there oh, make sure your heart is open. Don't close your heart. You know, here you close your heart. Here you fall into the depression. Here is like, yes, I manifested three cups, but I wanted that third, fourth one for this to be complete. So you, you have manifested something, but it's like, it doesn't feel complete. Something is still lacking. You're not in a bad place. You have done things. So it's like you changed a lot, but still there is one cup missing here. So I feel like the fourth cup is coming towards you. Even more, nine cups. Look at this, how proud you are. Yeah, you wanted, you had three cups. And you wanted the fourth one and you got nine, you know, and you even put them on the shelf here like trophies. You're like, look at me, I'm smoking my cigar, I'm sitting in my fancy chair, I bought this expensive suit maybe, and you just show metaphors for just showing that you're very like content and satisfied, success came to you. So very important message for you, keep your heart open and keep your passion going. You know, you manifested three cups out of four. So you're like almost at the end. You're almost at the end. And I mean, there's always, there's already colors and things, good things has already come into your life. So it's like not a time to fall into negative thinking about, oh, this doesn't happen or why is it like this? Or, you know, some kind of feeling, some kind of past feelings comes back, you know, don't lose yourself in anything. Let energies flow free to your body with Virgo. Virgo is very grounded energy. They're also, you know, very good with details and planning and structures. Like, like, so keep doing your, keep like being grounded and planned and structured in what you're doing, but do not forget the heart as well. The heart, it could be like you have a friend here that helps you open the heart. It's very important not to isolate yourself as well. You need support from loyal friends and family maybe, yeah. So yeah, be sure to, this picnic basket, be sure to be social as well and forget about this for a little while and then go back and like try to solve it or try to manifest or try to work with whatever you're working. Yeah. Samaritan, the good Samaritan. So we have light attribute, refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Shadow attribute, exact, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Exacting. So yeah, the good Samaritan, you know, helping people in need. So the shadow attribute is like wanting to be, wanting something because you help somebody. And the light attribute is just helping those weird. So help those you would prefer to ignore. So something that would raise your energy, something that is really good for you to focus on. Like you have, if you, something is lacking in your life, Something that brings really, really, really good karma is to help other people. Yeah, it really does. Like, be sure to help other people. And it doesn't have to be financial if you don't have finances, but it can be, you know, a smile. <laughs> it can be good advice. It can be being, be the loyal friend you as well. Maybe you need to bring somebody to a picnic that is a little bit sad and gloomy. You know, you need to help them or somehow. So yeah, once again, the heart is very important here. Be sure to keep your heart open towards yourself and others. This will help you keep a high vibration. It will also help, you know, you to create more good karma for yourself, but also like open the door to the good karma that you already have. Because there's a lot of things in motions here, in motion. I do see you 
I, I mean, it's super clear. The three first cards, you know, I wanted to take one card, but Tarot said no, three cards, or your spirit guide says no, this is the story. You're lacking this thing, you want it. It's a one shows powerfully, it's coming into your life. Nine of Cups shows you're being satisfied. So it seems like you will get the thing that you want. Yeah, you will get the thing that you want. Now it's a matter of time. <laughs> it's a matter of time. It has a lot to do with the self. It has a lot to do with your energy. Are you in this lower shadowy aspect of you? Or can you keep a high vibration like the pearl here? You know, it's very hard to keep a hard, high vibration when things are going very wrong, you know. But that is the practice. If we can only keep a high vibration when life is smiling at us and, you know, everything is going fine. We're not so advanced in our spiritual maturity. You're not so advanced as human beings because shit goes wrong all the time <laughs> I mean, sorry for being uh, swearing maybe almost but yeah you know things goes wrong all the time so if we just expect to have a high vibration when when you know life is smiling at us you know and then we cry every time things goes to hell which it does many times you know there's obstacles and problems and things so it's like keeping me trying to maintain your this is the energy card also trying to maintain a high vibration through period of your life where it seems like you're not getting what you want i mean it's obvious you're not getting what you want so right now it's not here so then you have to accept it okay right now i don't get what i want but doesn't mean that it's going to be like this forever so it's like okay let's see how long it will <laughs> long it will take before it comes and then focus on other things and keep your high vibration and like it shows here in the reading, it seems like you will get the good news here. There will be a transformation and a big change where you actually will get what you want. So the matter of time, it also depends on you. How long are you staying in the shadows or your ability to, your capacity and the ability to kind of like keep a high vibration even when life is not getting you what you want and even when you're being challenged. This is like the masters. This is the, the ability of the master. Happiness, <laughs> I mean, happiness is around the corner. And this once again talks about holding a high vibration because dolphins has very high vibration. I'm thinking about Atlantis, Lemuria, maybe you have some kind of connection to those old um, golden civilizations here on earth. But yeah, happiness. Channeled messages also with the dolphins, you know, news, channeled messages. I feel like it's very important for you to tap into the angelic realm, into some kind of higher energy to also help to lift up your energy. Look at this. There's somebody lifting up here. The Good Samaritan can also be, you know, your angels and your guides. They want to help you. They want to help lift up your energy and or help you keep your heart open and help you keep your energy high and help you keep the hope up even, you know, when, you, when you're going through shadowy periods of your life. So, yeah. We forgot about the tea leaves. <laughs> Let's do those. Let's do the tea leaves. Tulip, great passion. I mean, tulip goes good together with Ace of Wands, you know, big passion, not unsuccessful plans. I mean, come on, your reading is so clear. There is a nod, unsuccessful plans. You are not satisfied, clearly not satisfied. Tulip, great passion. I mean, and passion, you know, fire uh, element. Fire element wants energy. So really it's coming in here. So it's it's like you're you're in the nod. It's not gonna stay, you know, no problem stays forever. You know, it, it comes and goes. So it will it will it will you the knot will like untie itself. And the way to untie it is to keep your high vibration. Don't fall too don't get too depressed and gloomy. Get depressed and gloomy if you want to. Do it for a day or two max and then you go like, okay, I've done this, you know, I've done this, I felt all these emotions, I accepted how I felt, I was disappointed or angry and, you know, it was frustrating. Now let's do something about it, you know. Now try. let's try to shift my vibration. So nothing wrong, you know, with falling into this dark, maybe thinking, nothing wrong with that, but recognize that you're doing that. Okay, now I'm thinking these thoughts, now I'm feeling these feelings. Now I feel hopelessness. Now I feel this. Now I feel this. And then you do it. And then you get tired of doing that. And you try to shift your energy. See what happens. Wisdom. Yeah. You know, heart chakra. I mean, come on. Heart chakra and wisdom. So yeah, use your heart uh, to shift your energy and use your wisdom. Use the wisdom of the heart. And maybe it's going to feel good helping somebody else. You know, I, I think it's pretty nice actually to help somebody else. And I, this is also something that shows spiritual maturity or kind of like uh, like uh there is when our when our, when we're really starting to like purify our energy and re come into higher vibration there is a natural 
compassion and a natural goodwill that comes and wanting to help people very hard to pass somebody that needs help and not helping them so like something like tap into goodwill but be sure like to do this from a very genuine place do something that feels good for you you know we can be picking up some trash you know it can be feeding the birds you know it doesn't have to be you know if you have a hard time being nice to humans you know sometimes it can be very difficult you know if you're really going through some emotional heavy things very hard maybe to open our heart towards other humans but you don't have a dog here open your heart towards your dog go on that extra long walk play with the ball you know that he likes you know the red or blue ball or whatever it is i just saw a red and blue ball i saw a red ball and the blue ball the red pill and the blue pill <laughs> yeah matrix yeah it's about choices here about choosing to be be stuck it's not it's, it's it's not so easy, you know. I'm, I'm not trying to. I know it's not easy, you know. But it's like somehow there is like your your awareness is high enough for you for you to detach and see like okay, you know, I can try at least to do something else. So yeah, spend time with your dog. Give your dog love. This will open your heart. You know, the trees plant your replant repot your flowers. Listen to some classical music, or I don't know what you like to listen to. I like classical music, but yeah, or some other type of music and. This like is open your heart, you know. So it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I have to go help the homeless, and you know this and this. If if you don't feel it coming naturally, it has to come naturally. So do something that's naturally for you, and it doesn't have to be something big. It's just something that shifts your energy, and just gets you into this soft, more more soft, you know, giving. Because when you will give from a very soft place, you will also receive, you know. So and I, something does want to come into your life. Something wants to be received by you and bring you happiness yeah look at this financial constraints there's nothing left here but two coins <laughs> and your book of wisdom see here dust off that book you know the wisdom you have the wisdom you have the heart you have a very beautiful connection with nature and animals you can be very compassionate and nice it's you're you're very naturally high vibrational but sometimes you know things overpower us problems and things overpower us and then we're lost in so kind of old, old way of thinking and worrying. So just get out of that and, you know, things will solve for you. Community. Yeah, you know, I think it's it's not a time for you to be alone. It's not a time for you to go into hermit mode and, you know, just be pissed off. I don't know. Sorry. I just heard like, or just be frustrated maybe or something. Or just say like, you know, I'm angry with the world and everybody... It's more a time to connect with things that opens your heart and makes you feel loved. Loved by the trees and the flowers and the bees, you know, and the dogs and the cats and the birds. You know, if you once again, if you have a hard time connecting with humans, there's so much else that you can connect with, nature and animals. But if you have a loyal friend or friends or family or, you know, children somewhere, you know, around you, yeah, connect with them. It makes you feel good. Yeah. This is really going to you have a picnic basket. Of course you're not going on a picnic alone. I think you're going to go on a picnic with somebody. So very clear message for you, pile of number three. Let's do three more tarot cards for you. See if we can get some last messages. One. Yeah, I don't know what the, this deck really talks to you. <laughs> yeah, it's like really wants to communicate. Yeah, it brings you more card also. So we got four cards. The Empress. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Empress growth. Ace of Wands and Empress. It seems like you're on the verge of really growing. You're on the verge of really cracking the code cracking the code to receiving what it is that you were lacking you already cracked the code three times three times you got what you wanted or you already you already manifested you know you already did good things so you're, it's not like you know it's not like you never manifested anything before you already changed your life many times and you manifested and you went through things and you learned things and so you mean you're gonna do it this time too this is just another thing yes maybe it's very important here because it seems to be because even if you have three things here, you still want that fourth thing. So maybe this one thing is very, very important for you. But the cards are showing and the energy is showing that you will get that too. So you something like you will crack the code. You will crack the code. But to be able to do that, it's like you have to not dwell too long in the frustration and in the worries. Don't dwell too long in that. The Queen of Swords. Wow, yeah. Clear mind, clear action. Clear mind, clear action. Ace of Swords. I mean, come on. I love your cards. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love your cards. Ace of Swords. King of Swords. Two aces. Yeah, so I mean, breakthrough is like... You know, I keep hearing you're about to crack the code. And I don't know what that means, but you're about to crack the code. You're about to... 
you know, blue pill, red pill, talking about Matrix, the blue pill. I can't remember which one it was, if it was the blue pill or the red pill, you know, that made him keep on sleeping in the 3D world and the blue pill gave him the truth of everything or something like that. But you will see the truth of everything. You will crack the code to whatever you're trying to get rid of or whatever you're trying to get. Maybe you're trying to get rid of something and also get something with the Ace of Swords. You know, you're cutting through the illusions. You're opening the, the path with the Queen of Swords and Ace of Swords. Complete open. The Empress, you're just receiving. <laughs> you're sitting there and saying, give it to me. And you know, it's just coming to you. And you're growing here and you're growing in your abundance. So the fourth thing that you want is going to come to you. Nine of Cups, even more things that you wanted. Two of Cups. Yeah, coming together with the thing that you wanted. I mean, your reading is like spot on. It, it's, I love this reading and I'm claiming it for myself because it was so positive, <laughs> yeah. So two of cups, coming together, you getting what it, was, what it was that you wanted. Pile number one, great messages. I think great advice as well. Also resonated with myself today. So yeah, claiming this reading. Pile number one, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile one. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two and welcome to your reading and you felt drawn to the owl. Okay, let's put the owl here in the corner. And we're going to start with the Significator card. In pile number one, three cards popped out. So I think we're gonna do actually like two or three cards for you as well. Let's just see like which cards show themselves. So the only reading message pile number two needs today. The only reading message pile number... Yeah, actually it is three cards. No, it's four. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, why are you doing this today? So many messages. Yeah, the tarot card seems to be very eager today or your spirit guy seems to be very eager to communicate today. So maybe you really need, maybe you really need uh, a message today. So we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna do four cards and uh, let's just put these four here. And we're gonna take also two cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you use the code happy June during the month of June, uh, I will ship you my own Oracle deck uh, for free, yeah, free shipping. <laughs> so you can find it on my website, nordicl.com. So let's see, let's do two cards for you. And let's see what we got here. Strength. Okay, strength. We have Knight of Swords. We have Knight of Cups. Wow, you know, the Knights are a lot about taking action. And strength, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the last card here is Five of Cups. Hmm, the loss here. So it's, you know, Five of Cups talks a lot about the past. It's a lot about holding on to the past. And Knight of Swords, the Knights are all about moving forward. Moving forward with a lot of like this young young energy, you know, very young and passionate energy, courageous energy. Uh, and yeah, just having very en high energy to move forward. Strength, the, the, the owl. It's time to let go of what was lost. It is time to let go of what was lost. Hmm. And to redirect your focus to what you have gained and what you what is awaiting you in the future there seems to be things moving quickly towards you to help you heal the wounds of what you have lost maybe or hmm the knight of cups always comes with good news you know, yeah, it always comes with a very positive and good energy. But this also feels like you. Yeah, it's like, it's actually, I feel like the night is your energy. It's like almost like telling you to, okay, you know, it, there was, something was difficult. Yes, you know, something was difficult. Yeah, we cried about it and it was sad. And it's it's time now to, to, to find peace with what happened and, and to pick yourself up, to pick yourself up and see what the future holds for you. 
And I, I said, quick, 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 like, <laughs> don't miss the fast train. Yeah, something like, don't miss the fast train. <laughs> Maybe somebody's going on a trip. But yeah, there's a fast train here. There's, like, there's fast movement here. Very fast movement. Be sure to be on that train that goes, goes to the future. Be, be sure because you don't want to miss it. You don't want to stay here in the past. You do not want to miss that fast train. Uh, gracefully, you know, with Knight of Cups. Yeah, gracefully now it's time. Gracefully and courageously is now time to move on. I hear. It's now time to move on. What is lost is lost. Maybe it's sad. Maybe it's not sad, but what is lost is lost. What happened, happened. You cannot change it. And now it's just about gracefully and courageously see what the future holds for you. Time. Okay, we have time and we have serenity. So yeah, you're moving away. It's time to move away from the distress. It's time to stop healing this sounds so strange but you healed maybe something really hurt you in the past and you've been healing and healing and healing and it's like yeah you healed and now you don't get stuck sometimes we can get stuck in healing stage we think you know, we like go into the motions and you know we start desiccating and turning every stone you know we, we get we can get lost in shadow work and we can can get stuck in healing as well so something like yeah you worked you healed now, you know, move on. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, move on. Like you're ready to test your wings. You're ready to fly out yeah, with owl. And I don't know how good flyers, how good owls are in flying. But yeah, of course they can fly. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just thought. So maybe you think you can't fly. Maybe you think you're not ready. Maybe you're waiting for the right time. But I'm here to tell you the right time is now. Now is the time to fly. Now is the time to test your wings. Now it's the time to stop healing. Once again, it sounds so strange, but like stopping to try to fix it. Like healing in a way that you're trying to fix something, like there would be something wrong with you, which is which there is not. Some of you could be like you're stuck in some kind of wanting to fix something. There's nothing to fix <laughs> anymore. The time is out and the time is in <laughs> for you to just move on. Yeah, fly above this. Both of these knights are flying on a broom. So really talking about flying, raising your vibration and flying. And this, look at this, flying on a broom and this lady here is sitting on the floor. So you're flying above this and away from this. There's a celebration on the table. You just have to fly up a little bit and there's a celebration here. And a cute little cat sitting on the table waiting for you to uh, spend time with him. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you're going to get a new pet. Yeah. Uh serenity yeah i mean peace is really coming here for you so the river look at this horse here yeah the river it's it's i think it's supposed to be the mirror of the horse yeah you know it's actually see it it's, in the, it's the, the reflection don't just look at the reflection of the future life that you want actually go after it it's time to go after what you want. The fast train is here. The opportunity for you to leave this in the past is here. Don't turn your back. Don't try to fix anything. Maybe you try to fix something many times, but it still ends up hurting you. So this is like, be wise. You know, fool me once. How is the, how is the saying? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> yeah. So like something we like, maybe somebody needs to hear that. Um, it, the fix, it, it's, it's, whatever was meant to be fixed, if it's not fixed by now, I feel like it's not going to get fixed. Yeah, that maybe that was a little harsh message. I felt like something with, but, but, and at the same time, it feels like you don't have to fix anything with yourself. So maybe you're waiting for something on the outside, external to like work out. But it's just keeping you stagnant, maybe. Waiting, just waiting, you know. So, and watching life go on without you on the fast train. Something, it's time for you to sit on the fast train. It's time for you to be successful now. And for, for you to be able to do that, you have to go get on this train that's moving so fast. And it's bringing you a lot of things here. The gazelle. Yeah, you know, gazelle, they can run fast. Yeah, <laughs> time to run fast. Run for it, <laughs> run forest, run. Yeah, you know, run forest, run. That is one um, 
movie scene from the Forrest Gump, you know, and it's when he has these, he had weird, I don't know what he had with his legs, but he had these things on his legs, you know, big things, you know, on both legs from the, uh, from the hips down, you know, he had these things that made him walk, you know, these metal things. And then he was running away from the bullies and he was running, running. And, you know, at this time, the, his best friend said, run, Forrest, run. And he ran and he ran and he ran and the things fell off and all of a sudden he could run, run. <laughs> he could run really fast, you know, and his legs were healed. So you're, you've been stuck somewhere and it's been root chakra, root chakra uh, pain, root chakra issues. Root chakra, you know, has to do with finances. It has to do, yeah, everything earthly, money, work, relationships, Say, feeling safe and secure in the world, feeling good in your relationships, you know, all these things that makes you feel safe in your human life. And there has been like something shaky there. But now you, you not only have your legs back, you can fly. <laughs> it's time to fly, run, fly, do anything. Just, just be on the fast train to embrace all the good things that the future is bringing for you. And to be able to do that, you need to be done with the things that is holding you back and uh, not holding on trying to fix something that is already outdated long time ago yeah already outdated long time ago hope with the daffodil narcissist <laughs> yeah this is the narcissist i don't know yep yeah, narcissist pseudo narcissist is the latin name yeah so maybe some of you are dealing with some narcissist we have taurus and we have air element. Fly, Taurus, fly to your abundance. Fly to receive the material wealth and the safety and the, like you're receiving good things. Time to fly, time to run. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I keep getting the same message. So let's do some more cards. Yeah, I forgot the tea leaves for you as well. I did that in pile number one. So let's do the tea leaves. Shark, okay, shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Yeah, this is the this is the shark that you need to get rid of. This is the one biting your legs and eating get, eating you up. You know, this is root chakra fear. The shark coming in the water, the dark water here. Not a, this is a hungry, angry shark and it wants to eat you. So take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Yeah, this is maybe why the fast train is here because you need to quickly remove yourself because it's not looking good. You don't stay in this energy because, yeah, it's really, it's like you're, you, that's why it's the fast train. They, they want to move you away from this energy as soon as possible. This is the reading is telling you that move away from this energy as soon as possible. It's not, it's only going to bring you more pain, maybe even loss of material wealth. Shield. Wow. Come on. You need to defend yourself. So both the shark that is attacking you and the shield here. I mean, your message is super clear. You need to, you need to remove yourself. You need to you need to protect yourself by removing yourself, and leave fly over this energy, this problem. Leave it behind you. Trust with hope here. Trust that the universe will bring you what you need instead to be able to survive or to feel good. Hmm. Messiah. <laughs> Interesting. I got, oh, I got such a bad energy when I turned this card. So yeah, Messiah, serving humanity with humility and the shadow attribute is exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Yeah, fake Messiah. I really felt like this because we had the narcissist daffodile energy here as well and then the Messiah and then the shark. So like, what do you need to like fly away from with all the strength, not look back, not even once turn your back to that energy or that person, not even once think about them almost. Like get yourself out of it as soon as possible. The black beauty here, you know, the black horse, the story of the black beauty, you know, the black beauty was abused. It's a very dark story. It starts out with a very dark story, very abused by its owner and, you know, bad, so abused. And it, it, But he, he, ended up with this most beautiful loving owner so this is like something with you like bad energy get 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 rid of it it's affecting your finances even here material wealth yeah it's attacking you in some way and you you just want to get get out of that messiah yeah maybe even somebody uh, think making you think that you need them making you think that you need them you know 
an exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can su succeed. They want you to rely on them. Maybe they want to keep you in some kind of codependency. Could be. Or there is a, just a fake person here. Fake boss, fake person making you think something. And they're, they are like, so, you know, new age, shiny on the outside, you know, or love and light. But on the inside, you know, there's a lot of darkness. Yeah. So this is a message as well for someone. Courage, yeah, the courage to leave. Look at this. You're not gonna hit yourself on these rocks. You're gonna fly over this. There, there's a storm going on here, but you can just fly over it. Time to do that now. Forgiveness uh, with the... I was thinking like, is it blue? Is it the third eye or is it the crown chakra in this trick? I think this is the third eye, yeah. Third eye forgiveness. When you have changed everything here, you know, when you have removed yourself and when this is more in the past, it feels like you will find some peace. You know, it, uh, the reading also talks about find peace as soon as possible with like just being like, okay, this is, th this person is like this, you know? Don't try to reason like why or how or, you know, or why did this, this, didn't, this didn't work out the way that you wanted. You don't go into those complicated things, you know? Just see things for the way they are and just like, okay, this was painful and this didn't work out and then try to leave it behind you as soon as possible. You need to you need to deal with emotions though, you know, we can't suppress emotions. So if there's any emotions you need to deal with, you deal with them as soon as possible so that you can serenity, so that you can move on in peace and calm. Move on with peace and calm, yeah. And I feel like with forgiveness in the third eye chakra here, it's when you are safe and removed yourself from the situation, you will be able to understand this from a higher perspective. So don't, answers are not so important actually right now. What is more important is to remove yourself, protect your energy and ho jump on that fast train to your better future. Yeah, to your better future. Protect your legs <laughs> protect your root chakra because you have healed and changed so much in your root chakra you don't want to go back to that black beauty abusive maybe almost like aggressive energies yeah you don't want to go back to that third chakra archangel shamuel yeah solar plexus chakra there is a need to take strong action here and to move and remove yourself and you know uh i'm gonna say it again <laughs> hop on that fast train it seems to be like your the theme of your reading is hop on that fast train and Shaga, defense and balance. Wow, look at this. You defend yourself by removing yourself and you bring balance back to your life. Don't let this fake Messiah into your energy or into your life. Defend yourself and you will be balanced. Okay, let's do three tarot cards for you as well. Let's see if we can get some last message. One, two. We have Ace of Swords. <laughs> wow, yeah, clear out that energy and, and break free. Break free, break, break through and break free. You are ready. I mean, you're really ready for this. You already went through this pain this many times over and over again. I don't know. It was almost like you're waiting for something to give you a nudge to take action. Or waiting for time to show you something. But I think, you know, it's just like, no, it's just time to move, you know. Time to cut the cord, really cut the cord, you know, with the past and really move away from that. With the, with eight ace of swords, nine of cups, I mean, <laughs> funny because we got these both. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> so yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, you know, wish fulfilled. You're you're satisfied. You're good. You're 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 good here. Nine of cups, two of swords. Yeah. So with ace of swords and nine of cups, you know, and two of swords here, it, staying waiting keeps you stuck. Staying, waiting makes you feel bad. It's almost a little bit, you know, I would say almost, I don't want to scare you, not even a little bit, you know, dangerous in the in the sense that it, it, it affects you and it affects you and your life, this energy or this place that you are stuck in. It affects you and your energy and your life in, in, in a very negative way with the shark, you know, causing uh, things not to go your way. You know, causing things not to work out for you. So really, you need to sh like shift this, take it away, protect yourself, shield yourself. Otherwise, to a source, you know, dead end, stalemate, stagnation. You're stuck. Otherwise, if you don't take action with the third chakra, uh, solar plexus chakra, you know, all about action with courage here, with the strength in the two knights, with this youthful courage of 
I, I can change my life. I, I can move away from this. I have the courage that it takes. I don't have to be the black beauty here. Black beauty ends with a beautiful, it's a beautiful ending like the Nine of Cups. You being in a place in your life where you are safe. You know, look how you're resting here with the uh, hippo. <laughs> you know, what is it called? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the, the hippo, it's not a hippo, it's a, uh, it's a, Ah, let's just leave that. <laughs> Look how you're resting here, you know, you're safe. Even with this big animal. Look at this, you're safe. So you you conquered like some kind of monster almost. Now you're safe and, you know, answers will come to you and you're fine. So yeah, action is very, it's, it's needed to defend yourself and find balance. You defend yourself by removing yourself. Don't look back, cut the cords, really cut the cords forever now. And if you need something here to, to be brought to you with Nine of Cups, it seems like Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, it seems like you will get good news and things will solve for you and you will get the things that you need. But most of all, you're not in this bad place anymore. You're not in this bad energy anymore. Staying in a bad place, blade, bad energy, bad people, you will always be stuck in that type of energy. You know, we have to remove ourselves and even if life, even if the future looks like very unknown and scary, we don't know how to survive or how to do this and that. Maybe we have to move away and we have nowhere to live and you know, we quit our job. We don't know how to pay our bills. It's in the end going to be better than staying, waiting for something that just over and over brings you pain. It's like a cycle. So reading is telling you, get out of the cycle. Time to get out of the cycle. Whatever you are leaving behind it's, it's good riddance and whatever you, is waiting you in the future is going to be better. I mean, it can't get worse and then what you're leaving. You know, you already got the worst thing almost, you know, so it, it, however it will be better or it would lead you to something better along the path. You will grow. Growth comes from stepping out of your comfort zone. So you step out of your comfort zone, you grow and you go through life. You know, sometimes, you know, it takes some time or whatever, but it will bring you you know, in the end, you will end up in the right place. But if we don't take any steps, we're just waiting, you know, nothing will happen. You're just stuck in the stalemate. And I really feel like fast train is here for you. Life and your soul wants to move you forward so that you can grow as a human and that you can change your life in the most positive way. Yeah. Okay, pile number two, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three and welcome to your reading and you felt drawn to the rat with the golden gate. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like it's in a library and there is a golden it's a red golden yeah but it's a lot of gold here red golden gate or portal so let's put the rat here in the corner and we're going to start with uh actually you know we're gonna start with three tarot cards because in all the piles today uh, i was gonna do one card but there was more cards so let's just take three cards for you so the only reading the only message pile number three needs today Oh yeah, that's, come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it does that today. You know, in all the piles, <laughs> there's more cards coming up than I initially wanted to take. And I think it's like, the, the, I, I said this in pile number two as well. Like spirit seems to be very eager in today's reading to give you messages. So if the messages really resonate today, I think they're going to be uh, very good for you. So let's just keep those there. We're also going to take two cards from my own Oracle deck. Uh, during the month of June, if you use the coupon code Happy June, you get free shipping uh, wherever you live in the world. On uh, and you can find the deck on my website nordicl.com. So free shipping with the coupon code Happy June on nordicl.com. So let's go with these two. And we have gossip and spiritual, <laughs> spiritual gossip. <laughs> yeah, gossip and spiritual. Okay, interesting. So let's keep this here. Let's see what's going on here. We have King of Cups with healing. King of Cups with healing. We have the lovers. Let's see, I don't know where to put the cards. We have a Queen of Swords with morality. And we have the High Priestess.
the rat. The rat came up, has been coming up in my readings from the tea leaves. I think we have some tea leaves. I hope the rat is not here. If it is, <laughs> let me see. Don't we have tea leaves for you as well? Yeah, there they are. Yeah, we're gonna do tea leaves as well. Let's just keep this here. But yeah, you know, the rat has been showing up when I've been doing the tea leaves like many times in the past readings. Uh, but you know, the rat ratting somebody out the, and, the, and the gossip is here in the corner. But the rat also feels like, you know, the rat is a very intelligent animal that can survive. Very intelligent animal, actually. And very, like, their, their capability to survival is very, very high. You know, the rat survives everything. So there seems to be big things happening and going on with you. I think there is a reason to look at you and be curious about you. Because with the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Lovers and the High Priestess, I mean, you are in a very, 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 very high energy. And uh, King of Cups, yeah, you know, yeah, spiritual. King of Cups is the most spiritual king. And uh, showing almost a spiritual teacher. The lovers, you know, it's also very, very uh, high energy, you know, showing uh, happiness and love, you know, being, you know, ha kindred spirit, you know, uh, having nice connections. And then, you know, the, the queen of swords shows this sharp mind and the, the, the high priestess shows this very mystical energy. You seem to be in a very good energy. <laughs> Pile number three, there seems to be, you know, that you have spiritually upgraded yourself lately. You've gone through some kind of, this card is so beautiful. Or <laughs> well, you're allowed to say that by a card that you have kind of designed yourself. But yeah, you know, you are in a very good place. So yeah, you know, you, you're giving yourself compliments. I just gave myself compliments. You, you like yourself. You like yourself and you're comfortable with who you are and you're not scared of showing yourself and it's like you you really shifted and changed your energy and it seems to be there is a reason to gossip not all gossip is bad gossip you know it can just be people talking do you know what pile tree did you can you see they did this and they did that and you know you know so not all gossip is bad gossip you know but it could be that people are like talking about you right now and that's fine but with the rat here and gossip also I feel like you're something like you're not so don't put your energy into the goss. Don't don't give any energy to whatever is trying to disturb your peace or something like that. I don't even know what kind of advice I should give you because it seems like you're fine on your own, pile number three. Yeah, I mean it feels yeah, it feels like you're fine on your own. But let's do more cards, see how this develops. So tea leaves, wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So yeah, maybe somebody is trying to gossip like the rat here. Yeah, trying to, maybe you need to be aware of that energy. Maybe you're picking up on some, you know, sometimes, you know, you just get this feeling of like some kind of energy attack and you're like, oh, I just feel like envy and I feel like hate or ill will or I just feel like bad energy. And you're like, where does this come from? And maybe, you know, sometimes it's easier for us to get rid of the energy if we know where it comes from. Because then we can, like, pinpoint, okay, this comes from you. It's very easy to push the energy and just say, like, you know what? <laughs> you can keep this for yourself. And, you know, it's easier to cleanse your aura if you know where the energy is coming from, is my experience. So it could be that, like, try to be aware of where this energy comes from. And, and try to remember that you are actually in a very good place. Yeah, it seems like things are going very good for you. And there is no need to worry if somebody's spreading some kind of lies about you or somebody's trying energetically to mess with your energy in some way or if you're just feeling the gossip of people around you because it's going very good for you. No need to worry about that. It could be a good thing to be aware of that and to kind of cleanse your energy and your aura. Handle this in a very spiritual way. Staff. You will be taking care of uh, in difficult times. Staff, you know, it's like lean on your spiritual, first of all, awareness of how energy works. You know, you know, if somebody thinks of you and thinks of you highly negative or is gossiping about you, you will feel this energy. Most likely you have the high priestess here. So most likely you're very sensitive. You can pick up on these things. I know I have mm, almost all of your empaths listening to my reading and very spiritually, energetically aware. So if you feel like something is in your 
if you feel, if you have thoughts or feelings of anger or ill will or frustration or I don't know, sadness or envy or jealousy, and you know, you know, this doesn't come from you. You can be sure that you're picking this up from somebody gossiping or thinking or talking about you. Doesn't mean that they want to, you know, mess up your life in some ways. Just like maybe they're just talking, you know, but you're sensitive. So you're picking this up. So with the staff here, lean on your wisdom. The King of Cups, you know, you are the healer. You are the healer. It's not like you need a healing healer. Healer, You are the healer. So heal yourself and keep this energy away from... The, the relationships, the lovers here, you know, keep them away from you and your loved ones. Uh, use your tap, you know, with the, the, the inner voice also with high priestess, the queen of swords and the high priestess. Yeah, you know, very spiritual approach to this. You use your very spiritual approach and to, to keep on cleansing yourself and don't focus on, could be like a little bit triggering because it could be like past, people coming up people from the past coming up and like trying to somehow get in touch with you or you know i don't know wanting something for you maybe uh but you're moving steadily you're growing i would say not even moving you're growing steadily like there's a i i don't even know what to say you've grown you you're like finished product <laughs> yeah file three yeah you've grown like you're very mature in your energy so but it can be a little bit luring. It can be a little bit, uh, almost like a little bit, you know, tasty to to go back and taste on that backstabbing energy. So it sounds strange, you know, but it's like, it's like wanting you to draw in maybe. So don't get drawn in to this energy. Clear yourself and keep on growing is what I hear. Eros. Wow. So Eros, the Greek god of love. I think, yeah, Greek god of love and the lovers. So, I mean, and the diamond in your lips. Yeah, the diamond is in your lips. Uh, your voice. Yeah, your voice, your truth. You're living. You're, there's big things happening with you. There's definitely a reason to gossip. You know, it's like, whoa, you've changed so much and your life is changing so much. The, the gold, uh, diamonds are coming out of your mouth. <laughs> diamonds are coming out of your mouth. Yeah, but the Greek goddess of love and the lovers. So it seems to be like your love life is going good. Kindred spirits is in your life. There's union. There's wonderful, beautiful meetings with people. Higher meetings with people. Doesn't only have to be romantic, but the higher spiritual meetings and bonds. So there are two types of people here. One are almost the people of the past. The people of the past can be family members. It could be people in your workplace that you lived worked with for a long time. It can be neighbors, you know, you lived in a place maybe a long time past friends, old friends, ex-friends, exes. And this is like, the, this is like the, the, the past energy where the gossip come from. And also maybe just, if you're in the public eye in some way, it could just be people that are just like small-minded and envious of seeing you, it goes so good for you and maybe it doesn't go so good for them. So maybe just they're just jealous and envious. I don't think you're so affected by that energy because usually when we pick up on energy and when it affects us, it affects us more if there is an energetic past. So past, it has to be people that you have some kind of past history with. Other people, you know, doesn't they, that you just meet, you know, one meeting, two meetings, they don't, the, the bonds don't go so deep. And if you have a very strong karmic bond with somebody, probably you won't just meet them one time or two times. There should, there, there's going to be some kind of story playing out. So what I feel here with the gossip rat energy a little bit, it's like past bonds. That you have, I feel like you have cut the cord pretty good, but it's not completely cut or it's trying to reattach to you. So it's trying to reattach to you by thinking about you, stalking you, maybe watching your social media or something like that, or just like wanting, could, it doesn't even have to be something that they want something bad. Maybe just they just want to be in your life again or something like that. But obviously it seems like they have, obviously it feels like you are better off without them maybe because you seem like completely fine <laughs> without them. So something to be aware of is cords that you have cut in the past or cords that you haven't cut yet, but there is past history that's trying somehow to reattach to you or attach to you, or they want something for you, or is it just gossiping around? So good to clear that energy out, but do it in a very spiritual way. Don't like go back to react in the old version of you. How the old version would, of you would react 
in connection with these people and this separate court. So yeah, a higher way of acting and reacting. Storm warning, wow. What if somebody's doing something behind your back, maybe? And when I said it, it felt like somebody hit me. So, I'm sorry. It felt like somebody hit me in the face. <laughs> yeah, when I said that. It's like really... Uh, conspire. Some, 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 yeah, maybe somebody's trying to get back into your life or like try to get to your energy. So maybe you really like block them or cut them out or something. But somehow they're trying to come back. Maybe even trying to come back the back door. Like through your friends, you know, or through your family members. You know, f sending somebody... I don't know how they're trying to do it. Just be aware of this because there's a storm warning here. This person will bring you nothing but a storm. Nothing but a storm. So this reading is just giving you a heads up, saying like, okay, there is some energy around you. You have past history, there's some past court. It's not cut yet or something like that. And they are about to bring you something uh, stormy. Could be a love. Yeah, it could be a past ex, you know, because we have Eros and the lovers here. Could be like a past ex as well rejection wow yeah so they feel rejected yeah they feel rejected by you so there was a reason why you rejected them there's a reason why they're not in your life or why you don't want them in their life but this card is also telling you to do that reject them and save yourself from the storm save yourself for the troubles they are bringing with them because it seems to be a person that is uh trouble has a lot of troubles you know so they bring with them a lot of trouble and it's like it's okay for you to say no even the rejection card here is pretty interesting because it really shows energetically there's a lot of things going on they're all they're trying to get to you and this person maybe is involving other people flying monkeys they call it you know when a person involves other per people to do their business almost you know and, and and to try to get back into your life through the back door through family members siblings or friends or something like that so you you know you just you just you see this you clear yourself and you just keep on re rejecting you already cut some of you already cut the cord don't make it re reattached to you then you have to go through the whole storm once again because they are still the same person and you have grown you have outgrown them so much they can't they won't be able to uh, meet you in that place that you would like to meet them maybe you want to you you would want to have them in your life but they can't be there's a reason why you said no the first time second time third time you know so the reason is still there is what i feel they they haven't like they won't be able to once again meet you at the stage of communication awareness that you want to so golden teacher the magic mushroom introspection yeah, I mean, use your wisdom. Golden teacher also, the magic mushroom, has a very high vibration. So you already know everything. <laughs> it's not like I'm telling you something that's like mind-blowing. You already know all these things, you know? <laughs> so I'm just confirming to for you. I think it's just confirmations for you too, you know? You, you've seen this. You know who you are. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You can feel the growth. You know you're on... You know you're just growing more. You know good things has come to you. Things are really working out with you and the people that you love. You have attracted higher soul bonds and you're enjoying that. So yeah, it's just very clearly golden teacher storm warning. It's just telling you not to, uh, inter not, not, don't go into the storm. Yeah, don't go into the storm. You can do it if you would like to do some kind of shadow work, actually with magic mushroom and storm warning. If you really want to go deeper with something, if you feel like you're, they're still attaching to your energy in some way, you can go deeper doing some shadow work, but it's like your choice to do it then. And you do shadow work and you face the emotions, you go deeper. doesn't mean that you are going to play their games or like invite them back into your life. The lamp. <laughs> yeah, the innocent lamp. So do we fit the card here? Yeah, we do. So we have the lamp. Okay, let's do one more. And divination. Yeah, it talks a lot. Once again, you know, Scorpio. Look at this. Scorpio energy, fire element. Uh, spiritual warfare. Yeah, but, but you... <laughs> the lamp is also your energy, you know. But maybe, you know, I'm getting like a little bit like this uh, covert narcissist energy, you know, pretending to be 
very kind and nice on the outside, you know, a little lamb, but you know, very not so nice on the inside. But the lamb also feels like your energy. You're very in your pure energy. You're very like you you healed and cleared and cleaned and you know you're so clean and clear and you know in your uh, inner child. So you're back in this very beautiful energy of yours, but also very powerful with the King of Cups and the uh, the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. You know, very mature in your energy. So, so you 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 can be in your very vulnerable energy but still very powerful and it's like i feel like universe wants to keep you there keeps you keep you on this good role of spiritual growth so with divination here once again you know talking about spiritual practices spiritual golden teacher the magic mushroom this that w also works with uh, healing and purging and all these things so once again it's all about be be very spiritual right now handle this in a very spiritual way uh and answers uh, you already you don't even need answers. You know they have shown you their face. You have seen them, and maybe you rejected them or rejected this many times. And so it's like there's nothing new to be seen. There's nothing new to be discovered. It's like what you have seen is what you get, and uh, also you know you are growing. You know you're healing. You know you're changing. Things are going good to you. So it's like just like the the lovers is about the choice here, and it's the choice to. Once again, keep your energy clear by not inviting people in your life that you cannot trust. That's trying to put a wedge between you and a friend, you and uh, your new life. That gossips behind your back or just is a very somehow low vibrational, unconscious person that brings you storms. <laughs> yeah, that brings you storms. Teacher. Ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. The shadow attribute here is manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. Yeah, the lamb. Yeah, you know, uh, what what is it called? The a wolf in the lamb's clothes. Do you say that in, in English as well? I think we say that in Swedish. Yeah, it's the saying, you know, the, the, the wolf... Uh, yeah, the the wolf in a sheep's clothes. Yeah, that's the direct translation. A wolf in sheep's clothes. You know, show showing and thinking about that when I saw the lamb, they they're like, oh look at me, I'm a I'm a sheep. You know, but you know they are dressed, <laughs> they're hiding themselves. The fake teacher here, and and they are actually uh, a wolf that will eat the lamb. You know, they will eat you. They will something like that. So, but the teacher is also you. Golden teacher, teacher. Yeah, I mean, like, you're really, 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 really <laughs> in your spiritual energy. So, uh, I have, once again, I think many of you don't even need this message or this advice. And, you know, it's just like confirmations for you because you can handle things like this and uh, it's not a problem for you. So, we have miracles. Yeah, I mean, teacher and miracles talks about your energy and where you're going. You are spiritually growing, you're entering, you're embodying that spiritual teacher that you are, natural teacher, if you want to be a spiritual teacher or not, doesn't matter, but you're embodying a very high spiritual energy, you're uh, creating miracles in your own life, you're manifesting miracles, you are harvesting the best things that you can get from being a very high spiritual person, you have unlocked Doors, yeah, golden doors. Look at this library here and the golden gate. You have unlocked so many doors. I mean, you're in a, such a good place that I think many of you, you don't even bother anymore with this, you know, these uh, old cords coming back to you. Yeah, it's like you don't even bother anymore because things are going so good for you. Okay, let's do three more cards for you from the tarot deck. So some kind of last no, messages for pile. Number three here. Uh, that's the one. Okay. Maturity. <laughs> yeah, this is you. I mean, yeah. Queen of Pentacles with maturity. Or is this? No, this is Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles with maturity. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, this is you, teacher. The mature teacher. Your life is very stable. Your life is starting to become very, very stable. Your relationships, the, the your spiritual uh, maturity, uh, your career, your finances, 
uh, your relationships. I said, yeah, it's like very, very, very stable. So I really think I would be surprised me if somebody could shake you too much, even if they try, you know, so you're, you're very safe, you know, you and your loved ones are very safe. They can try to shake you, but they won't succeed. Yeah, they won't succeed past lives. Yeah, this is the course. <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, you know, look at this. Even, yeah, I, I saw the tails and I, it looks like ribbons. Ribbons always makes me think of, you know, the, the karmic bond. So past lives, yeah. The people, the energies that are bothering you the most are people that you have past history with. You just deal with this in the, in the most mature spiritual way. Over and over again, you reject this energy. You, 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 you keep yourself away from being pulled back into an old version of yourself that would get triggered and would react, maybe gossiping yourself, completely normal, and wanting to talk about this. More and more you, you say no to that, you will completely uh, get rid of these people and they will never be able to attach themselves again. So yeah, you're really clearing out these old cords. Yeah, projections. <laughs> really, they, it's really like, I think, uh, I think it's because also because you're growing so much the the past lives the past chords the karmic people that you have in your life this lifetime they're really trying to project and come back it's like a momentum of energy it's a very unaware behavior from their side as well so there's no reason to be angry or frustrated it's just the way the human mind and the soul kind of works so you just see it for what it is here it's all about the higher perspective the higher spiritual uh, not judging anybody not falling into anger gossiping yourself or things like that just handle this in the mature way that you have grown in to be able to embody yeah and you are safe you are growing your life is safe I mean you have nothing to worry about you got all everything together here you have the ability to create and do whatever you want to because you have unlocked so many spiritual doors for yourself and with the ace of pentacles here also you know the spiritual doors and techniques almost that you have unlocked or wisdom that you have unlocked is manifesting big things into your reality. So, I mean, you're top from the bottom to the top from earth, so below, so above, you're really like manifesting these two things from us, from above <laughs> to, from below to above. Yeah, it's like some kind of union. I feel like some kind of union here. Okay, pile number three. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, part three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.